So here is the full and complete Send That app that uh, I have finished. If you've been following this series, you have watched me finish. And so once you finish an app, you want to actually go through the publishing process. So in this video, I'm going to give you the high level view of the process. I'm not gonna go through and show you how to do every little thing, but I'm gonna show you the steps that you need to go through and all the links and resources you'll need to do just that. We'll have four parts to this video we'll talk about instructions for publishing to the apple app store then the google play store then i'll take a, a brief recap and share with you all the design assets you'll need for publishing and then we'll finish up with a new requirement for publishing to the apple app store so be sure to stick around for that one so let's start off with publishing to the apple app store so you have your full and complete app you're ready to publish it you're ready to start that process Stunkable actually has a really really nice wizard for publishing so if you come up to publish and you publish to the app store it will go through the process of kind of showing you and walking you through and once you log in i'm not going to log in here but it has like step by step and all the links that you'll need so definitely start out here if you're publishing to the apple app store go through here and use this next page i'm going to show you as kind of complementary uh, information so this is publishing to the app store i would go through here and just basically step by step follow along and on some of these they even have these little steps here that say once you get to this piece it'll go there click on that click on that click on that so it's really really good documentation so those are the two resources i would say is publishing here following this documentation and basically it'll walk you through if you don't have an apple developer account it'll walk you through creating your account there creating some certificates that you'll need for your app uh, some profiles different things like that and then once you get all that so that you can actually build the project and send it to apple it'll walk you through the process of setting up your app inside of app store connect and this is where you actually you know create your listing so your app can be uh, sold and downloaded and so here you can see my two apps that i've created so far send that and tip trainer so that's all you need for publishing to the apple app store publishing to the google play store is really a shorter list in my opinion if you come here this is another link they have another documentation page for this published to the play store so be sure to check out this publishing to the google play store is a 25 dollars one-time fee publishing to the apple app store is a hundred dollar yearly fee so you'll want to keep that in mind and basically the process for this is you come here you click on publish to google play android that will download a file that you can then upload right over here to the Google Play console. You'll come in here and create a new application. One thing I will say is they will throw a lot of errors and warnings when things aren't filled out, so be sure to do just that. And so that is publishing to the iOS Apple App Store and the Android Google Play Store. And so that covers the first two pieces, but let's get into the design assets because this is where I got tripped up with this app. The first piece, I basically used the resource that I created. I created this video after finishing my Tip Trainer app, how I created all the design assets for that. And so you can watch that video. I have a really good post down here of all the websites that I used for that and the steps that you'll need. Again, I'll share this link below and that'll give you your app icon. It'll go through creating some screenshots, creating some design assets for both the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. And then the last piece that tripped me up this time was now that iPhones are bigger, a lot of the screenshot tools that we have previously used don't really work anymore. And also it requires tablet screenshots uh, of your iPad, which can be a real headache if you don't have a dang iPad. So let me do the demo now of showing you how to get screenshots for any size device. This idea came from a community post, so I'll try and link that below. Basically what you need to do if you need to find a certain size device is open up the app as a responsive web app. And then if you right click and go to inspect, this will open up the dev tools. If I come over here to the top left, we have this little selector thing. We're not gonna use that 
you have this, it's very hard to see, but there's this phone and tablet and we click on that and that will make our screen appear like it's on a mobile device. So this button toggles between a mobile view and a web view. And then right up here at the top, we can pick out different devices. So what I did was I came to iPhone X to get those iPhone X screenshots. And then I got some iPad Pro screenshots as well. How do you download these? Well, you can come over here to the top right here and there's this little toggle thing, three buttons. Uh, you come down here to capture full size screenshot and that will capture a nice little screenshot of what the app would look like if you're on an iPad. And that's basically it. You do that for both, all, all, you can do that for all your screens. You can do that on different size devices. And as you know, the iPhone increases and they're, they're really kind of strict on the Apple App Store on these sometimes. They want certain dimensions and things like that because they want to be super nice and I respect them for that. Apple makes a good product. But anyways, as they scale and make more phones, you'll find that you'll need to make these nice screenshots and that is really just a super easy way to do it. That my friends is everything that I did and learned going through and publishing my Send That App as a mobile app. And again, 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 all links for everything I mentioned in this video will be in the description. So hope this can be a great resource for you as you're publishing your app as a mobile app. And if you're looking to publish your app as a web app, I'll be going over that in the next video. So be sure to check out the playlist for this Send That App series where I'm showing you how I created and published this whole entire app. The link for that will be in the description and probably on the screen right now. And I will see you in the next video. Happy coding.